guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have to start off by saying I'm sorry I am sick, so <laughs> um, I'm just trying to do a quick update video for you, so if um, I sound a little sicky, that's why. Um, so I just recently posted a stone marble video um, on how to do a really easy stone marble video, but unfortunately most of my comments I am getting are people who can't see the design that I created. So I decided to do a redo today. Um, really quick for you, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, come in and show you what I have decided to do under a black, or excuse me, over a black base coat. There you go, base coat. So I also decided to throw a little glitter so you guys can see exactly how beautiful this design comes out under something that you can actually see on camera, which obviously I just didn't think about. So again, I'm gonna start with my big bowl. You can see there's some particles on there because I have been practicing, so I can actually get this right on camera one time. So I'm gonna start it with a quite a few large, heavy drops of my wet and wild white, kind of clumped in one area. Then I'm gonna come in with a Sinful Colors. This is from the Kylie collection. It's kind of a gold color. And then I'm gonna come right back in with the whites in opposite places. I'm just, whoops, looking for things to get nice and open and get some color in there. All right, so I'm gonna take my stick and I'm just gonna slowly, you can see it's kind of yucky, I've been using it, kind of pull from the side. And you don't need to follow a specific pattern. If you get caught like that, just pick it up off the edge and just kind of twirl it. All right, so I like this design over here. We're gonna pull from the other side. Kind of catching these bands of color. I wanna start from an open side too. You see I'm just kind of playing and drawing through this until I have created something that I like. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go with this little patch of color right here with my two prepped nails. I've got my Q-tips at the ready. And I could try to keep my other fingers out of the way here. Good luck. All right. I'm trying to get this on camera, but again, guys, I'm sorry. It never really gets on camera. Let's pick our spot. Gently dip. I'm going to twirl this excess polish away from my fingers. Hopefully. Oh, see, now these are two perfect examples of exactly what I was going for in my very first video. Let me gently break away there we go. my tape. Wow, guys, this looks very stunning. Let me get the tape off here. I did too good of a job. Come on off now. Sometimes the tape works better than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, see, that is what I was going for. A beautiful, open, clear, obvious stone marble. I'm gonna throw a little bit of top coat on here for this. Oh, by the way, I ran out and got another bottle of the <laughs> the last polish I used for the base coat. Um, I really like it anyways, and it does work for water marbling, but it didn't show up nice for this indication, uh, for this indication, for this, <laughs> for this video. As you can tell, I am just not in my right mind today. I'm gonna throw some top coat over this so you can see how absolutely gorgeous that shine comes through. And remember to float your top coat, people. You don't want your hard brush kind of pushing down on your beautiful new water marble and ruining things. I really hope this kind of clarifies and kind of shows you the design I was going for with my last uh, 
with my last video. Thanks so much for always coming back and your comments and your subscribes. They help me make better videos for you guys. I love you and hopefully the next time I am here, I will not be sick. Peace out guys.